Um, Ned, this is a, a spiking horse machine, I guess you would call it. I made it about two or three years ago. And I, my computer's down so I can't video it and edit it um, and do a good job to show you. So I'm just doing this on my phone. But to give you a basic idea of what's going on here, this head assembly is the part that pastes the string. And all of this right here is, is the, the braking mechanism, I guess you would call it. Um, I put one string in here of cotton so that it, was, it would video a little bit better of how the strings are going through there and their orientation. Um, that's just for the video only. But what is going on here is this is the, the tub and there's a, another um, roller down in here. And these are just uh, paint rollers you get at the paint store. And I just flame them with uh, a propane torch and that kind of gives it like a poor man's version of uh, knurled aluminum. They're nice and hard. They're uh, waterproof. Um, I just make uh, end plugs out of uh, using a hole saw and UHMW uh, plastic um, so you, to reduce the friction and also be watertight. And these are just those um, toggle clamps you see in woodworking stores. Um, I use them a lot for jigs. Um, I used uh, screwdrivers that I modified um, to hold them in place. You just slip them out and all this comes apart. And everything's held in with screwdrivers. There's, there's one underneath here that pinches the tub in place. Then for each roller. And uh, everything's designed for somebody that has banana hands to thread the string in. I got the string all buggered up after, when I flipped that up to show you. And I got one hand so I can't straighten it out for you. But you can see how the three come through here nice and straight. And it, it comes through a die that I cut. This is also UHMVW plastic. And it's on a toggle bolt clamp and it flips up. And you would think that glue or wheat paste would get in here and screw it all up, but it doesn't. Um, it doesn't stick to that plastic at all. Um, the way this works is you just tilt it this direction and pull and it will it will cam and lock up on that string and then you stand over to the other side and pull and the string will automatically release so you don't have to walk up all the way to the machine and flip a lever or do anything fancy um, just stepping side to side one step one way and one step the other day the other direction releases or locks the string and you can run one string, two, or three. It works equally well. Um, and you can also use it with the paste head or without the paste head. It doesn't matter. Uh, you just, I just have a simple hand thread thing to disconnect it. Um, all the things are designed for somebody that's got banana hands to thread the string in there. They're big eyelets, um, and then this toggle bolt is what pinches uh, the pinch part. And then it can easily go back in there and lock it back in place. And the same for this roller that's knurled. This is knurled um, to keep the strings tracking properly um, so they don't get caught up at the top or bottom of the roller and get all bound up and over here is just a simple plastic roller uh, nothing fancy at all this pin comes out as well and this is just scotch bright and it just kind of lightly rubs against the string to keep them uh, in place so that when tension is released and there's slack in here that they don't come out of alignment with each other and this has the eyelets here to keep them in orientation. Um, 
you might think it might not work well, but it does. It all works without a problem. Everything's really easy to clean. Uh, this all comes apart like in 30 seconds. It takes about two or three minutes to re-thread it. Um, and it doesn't really drip anything on the floor. You might get one or two drips on the floor. Once when this tub gets kind of full, from the strain running off of here and getting worked in more with this roller and from the die scraping it off, you'll get a buildup. But you probably have to do about 10 shells before this starts getting to where uh, it'll start dripping on the floor. But it's not really a big issue. Um, and it actually helps the string get wetter and sloppier, which is what you want. But just going through these rollers, it gets it just the right amount how I like it. Um, and what's nice about it is it doesn't put the paste on until the end, so it's not drying out on you. It's, it's nice and wet and immediately goes onto the shell. So anyway, this is one of the first pyro pieces of equipment I made. And... Uh, it's served me well so far. So anyway, I just thought I'd show you, give you some ideas. I don't expect anybody to copy this, but it might give you some ideas for something else that you might do and, and uh, help you out. Thanks.